Hello and welcome to News Mobile Prime Time. I am Saurav Shukla, coming live to you from our Washington DC studios. And here are the top stories of the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a scorching attack on the opposition, accusing them of being determined to stay in the opposition without working in the interest of the public and the nation. During his speech, PM Modi took a swipe at the opposition's alliance India, comparing it to the origin of the Indian National Congress and the East India Company, both founded by the foreigners. He pointed out that certain groups, including Indian Mujahideen and People's Front of India, also include the word India in their names. In response, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi tweeted, that they are India and will work for the betterment of the nation. The deadlock in Parliament over the Manipur violence continued on Tuesday. Both houses faced a judgment as the opposition parties demanded a detailed discussion on the matter and Prime Minister's statement. Congress President Malikarjan Kharge sought a discussion on Manipur and also slammed PM Modi for focusing on the India alliance instead. He urged the Prime Minister to address the issue at hand and not be concerned about opposition parties naming themselves as India. Actress Pooja Bhatt spoke about her life journey, including her battle with alcohol addiction during her time in Big Boss OTT 2. She shared her regrets, emphasizing the importance of trying and not having regrets about things done. Pooja believes in being in the right room and learning from experiences. She also talked about authenticity of being a big boss participant, where the audience can understand each contestant's true self. After India's Test Series victory over West Indies, Ishan Kishan credited skipper Rohit Sharma for showing faith in young players. Rohit encouraged Kishan to play his natural game and not be influenced by others. His advice proved valuable as Ishan delivered a remarkable performance in the second test at Port of Spain. Days after the horrific incident of two women being paraded naked in Manipur came to light, a picture of two men surfaced on the internet claiming them to be the accused seen in the video. However, news mobile fact-checked the claim and found it to be misleading. The investigation revealed that the picture in question was as old as from October 2022 of Manipur BJP State Vice President Chidananda Singh and his son Sichananda Singh. News Mobile also managed to find the copy of complaint and the FIR in which Singh had clarified that the picture in question was downloaded from his Facebook page and is being shared with misleading claims. Thanks for watching News Mobile Prime Time and do follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.